All right, I've already used these two down here once. We're gonna do the same test side by side, but using uh, two newer ones as well, just in case one of these happens to be defective or otherwise just not as good. So try number one. This one was way faster than this one, but it both got there. We'll try it again, see if it's just one being defective or one being unusually better. Got identical paddle boards. They're both 11 feet long by 32 inches wide by six inches deep. Same valves and everything. So they're ready to go. They're both set to, let's get it to 12 PSI each. There we go, 12. Dang it, this one's set. <laughs> that one's set to 12. All right. We'll get started at the same time. My experience has been that two-stage pump is a better pump, not only because it's faster and because it can inflate and deflate, but the high pressure pump setting is only used for about five minutes of time instead of the full ten and a half minutes that a single stage pump has to use. Because of that, the two-stage pump is less likely to overheat. The high pressure pump, which creates heat in high pressure, is only being used for half the time. The manual pumps aren't bad. They're the fastest way to inflate your paddleboard. But if you're lazy like me, I don't want to do the equivalent of 50 or 100 push-ups before going paddleboarding. I like the electric pumps, but I like the two-stage uh, pump better. It's faster. For the extra, you know, 30 or 40 bucks, highly recommend it. It'll keep paddleboarding enjoyable.